What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. You guys, in today's video, I'm going to be walking my buddy Rocky, um, one of my clients out of Eugene, Oregon, crushing it in the, in the credit um, industry, helping people all over the state um, improve their credit, educating people on credit, and really kind of going over the importance of credit to his audience. And, and in today's video, we're going to simply just um, put out content, right? There's really two ways to put this content out, you guys. If you're following me on YouTube, this is, this is one form of organic, right? I'm creating a video. I'm putting it on YouTube. Now, it just depends if that audience, if you can serve that audience. If you're a local business owner, I don't know. These people on social media, are they across the country? Can you serve that audience? Or are you building a local business or a local brand where you can serve that audience? This is super important when it comes to just overall social media marketing. A lot of people just put out organic content, content, um, um, trying to build a local business and all that ends up happening is you end up attracting people across the country who are no, who, who are not even in your market. In this case with Rocky, he's like, David, I'm licensed in this state. This is the city that I'd love to educate. And I'd love to brand myself around, you know, this, this small, this, this small little town, um, here, here in my city, I'm like, dude, that's the second person. So number one, again, number one is the type of person that just wants to put out organic, 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 and post, 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 post. Again, here on YouTube, it benefits. You want to build a YouTube channel if video is your thing. But if you're building a local business or you have a specific niche that you're trying to target, that's where person number two, the type of person that says, you know what? I have an audience. Let me just get to them by tonight. Let me run an ad, right? And, and I always tell my clients, my friends, pick your platform, LinkedIn, TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. Pick your platform and just learn how to run an ad on that platform. Learn how to target your audience. So as you're building a business, as you're building a brand, you guys, that's what you want to really, really get into is, is running ads. How in the hell do I run these ads? And so with, with Rocky today, all we're doing is I'm taking them through the steps, right? Step one is what I call posting on the business page first. Put the asset there. Let it let it show publicly. Let it live publicly, way past the ad, right? And 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 let it let it let it show. Watch, scroll down, Rocky. Let it show. You know, thousands and thousands of views, right? So as as we now as I now take Rocky, you guys, as I now take Rocky and I say, Rocky, look, you got an audience. Let's just target that audience. That's the seven point nine thousand. Right. So so that's person number two, you guys, that just says, you know what? I have this content. I have this message. I'd rather just run an ad and target my specific audience. And and, and if I can do that by tonight, David, sign me up. How do I do it? Right. And so that's what I'm doing with Rocky. Rocky's like, you know what, David, I'm not putting out content all the time, all the time, all the time, nor do I want to attract people all over the country or even people all over the world. I have this small niche. How do I target them? Right. And, 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 and when it when it comes to location wise, when it comes to demographic wise, that's why Facebook continues to crush it, because the majority of us that are that are operating businesses, small businesses, um, we a lot of us have products and services, right, service based businesses where our demographics is that older person, right, that person that's 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 30 plus. 40 plus, you know, if you're a real estate agent and you're targeting homeowners, these are people that are 40 plus, right? 50 plus. So that demographic remains here. Rocky, he's in the credit, in the credit business, right? A lot of my clients are in the real estate business, right? So targeting an area, you guys, is what you want to do, man. And so with Rocky, him and I are just getting started. I'm so fired up because as you, as you, the handsome guy, you guys look at this guy, man, handsome guy, we're over here talking smack, thinking about, you know, he, he should be in the fitness business, right? But, but that's the brand. And that's what, what what you have to you have to keep it real, right? No matter who you are, no matter and, and he asked me about my Padre hat, right? He's like, David, are you a Padre fan? I'm like, no, not really. It just became part of my brand. And now everyone online, when they're seeing one of my videos and they they see this random guy with an SD hat, it's part of my brand. And it can be that basic, that simple, right? So so Rocky has a good little theme going on right here, you guys. And so all we're gonna do, step one. Post it on the business page first, and so that's what we did here. So Rocky, click on click on the video. We got to go into it. And we got to we got to edit. We want to we want to change out the thumbnail. We want to change out the text. Yeah, go ahead and click on it. But this is step one, you guys. Step one is posting it on the business page first, and then and then what you want to do for sure. Go ahead and press pause, and then click on the three dots. The three dots in the top right. What you want to do, you guys, is you want to um, make sure that the the editing right edit video edit video rock edit video. You want to make sure that the text. Any emojis, um, any links that you're really trying to put in there, um, 
you want to make sure all that is done first, right? So as you're posting it on the business page, again, this is public. You want to write out the text first, edit, make sure there's no grammar errors, make sure, you know, you got your periods and your exclamation marks or whatever you need to, need to, need to do to the body of the text, which is what we call the ad copy. Um, make sure that's on point right there. Um, because as we go in and run the ad and set up the ad, you can no longer change the text. So you want to make sure you, you knock out the text right now. And so when it comes to the text and when it comes to mainly you know, a lot of different videos. In, in this video, we're going for brand awareness, right? Is that what we're doing, Rocky? Are we going brand awareness? Are we just trying to get thousands of people to view this one? Or, or what are we doing with this one? Are we driving it to a landing page? This, this video, like I said, we're going to do uh, the free PDF. Okay, so we're driving it to a landing page. Correct. Right? Okay, cool. So in this video, you guys, there's always, no matter what your product or service is, man, it's all the same. It's all the same. It's all the same. There's three. There's a three bullet point framework that I teach, and and it's it's what we all teach. It's what we're it's what it's it's what we kind of follow, try to follow in our content as we're putting out content. It makes it super easy to just follow a, a little blueprint, right? A little three bullet point framework, which which number one is calling out, calling out your audience. That's number one. So when you think about your business, your product or service, calling out your audience. Hey Eugene, this is Rocky, your local credit specialist, right? Number one, I'm calling out that city, and even if it was more niche. Like if I can niche it down, if, if Eugene is the whole city, if that's the name, can I niche it in further? Can I, what are some names of some local, of some communities, right? Do I live in a condominium complex and we have a name, right? That's how you can niche, niche down even further where you're, where you're really talking to an audience. But, but here, Rocky, if you're going after the whole city, then yeah, that's what you want to do. Hey, Eugene, this is, this is Rocky, your, your local credit specialist. So number one, I'm calling out the audience. And then, and then number two, I'm telling the story. I'm giving a tip. I'm educating them. I'm sharing value. I'm, I'm, I might give them a tip on, on on how to increase their credit score, or I might give them, I might give them some kind of, some kind of um, um, tip that that is in my free download. That's in my free PDF. So if I'm driving people to download a free PDF, hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing tip number two. This is a tip that I share in my free credit specialist PDF. You guys are going to want to download it today. But this is tip number two that I share, um, and this is what it's about. Right. So number two is just is just now paying that picture and, and and educating and giving people that real juice and that meat and potatoes of 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 the entire, you know, freaking video. Like, what's the point? Right. That's number two. Number two, you got to explain the point, the value, the tip, the mistake to avoid. You got to educate them somehow, some way. Number two. Um, and that that's, doesn't have to be that long. It could be freaking 10 seconds. It could be 15 seconds. It could be 30 seconds, 45 seconds. It could be a minute. Right. It, it, there's no really, you know, time to it. Um shorter obviously better you know nowadays um so a minute two minutes this, this one right here is a two minute video right and then and then that's number two and then number three and then number three the call to action number three you got to be driving the click you got to be telling that person i would be saying it in the video i'd be writing it in the text um in the ad copy i would be just simply driving them to the next action hey you guys i put together a 2023 credit uh special d pdf download you guys are going to get so much freaking value from this i put my heart sweat and tears into this thing it's what i've been learning for the past few years i want to give you a free copy now so if you click the link below it'll take you straight to my webpage where you can download your free copy see you guys there Right. And, and that's, that's, that's the call to action. That's number three, right? That's the call to action. So again, real estate agent, credit specialist, anything, the whole PDF. And that's the whole point of the ad, man, of, of, of ads in general. Again, pick your platform, whatever. Facebook, in this case, we're going to run through a Facebook one, um, which is also an Instagram one. Same thing, right? But, 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 but whatever your product or service may be, you have to understand that it's all about capturing the lead. It's not necessarily about making the sell. If you're e-commerce and you have a website and you're selling physical products, cell phone cases, hats, t-shirts, footballs, whatever, then for sure you're going for the sell. But if you're coming across this video and you're you're in the you're in the client services business where you deal with clients, you have a, a service to provide, right? You're a real estate agent, you're a credit specialist, right? You're an insurance agent. Then, then you want to come up with some type of free download. It's all about getting the lead. That's what that's what this is all about, man. Yes, we're driving it to a page where we're going for the appointment. Yes, we're trying to optimize for an appointment, right? If you guys are, are out there in the client services business, but it's all about capturing the lead. Capture the lead first. And and and, and the way you're going to do it is by giving away something upfront of value in exchange for their information. 
That's just the way it works. And it's always worked that way, whether it's direct mail or freaking a newspaper ad or a magazine ad or a TV ad or whatever. It's, it's always someone giving you something first in exchange for just your basic information. And then and, and today it's the name and email. It's always been the name and email, but but it, it, it's it's name and email. That's what you want to focus on, man, is building yourself a list. Right. So so this is what we got to do, Rocky, is we got to knock out this, man. It, those are the three bullet points. Number one, calling out the calling out the area. Um Hey, Eugene, this is this is Rocky, your local credit specialist. Okay, you guys, so today's going to be a jam-packed video. Number one, again, first thing you want to do, step one, post it on the business page first. Hit save. And then, because we're driving it to a landing page, we have to install our pixel onto our landing page. So let, let's let's go back to, let's go back to, in fact, let's go to the ads manager. So open up your, your tab number four, ads manager. Not not here, just the tabs are your work with the tabs you already have open. You have a ton of them already open. Yes, you keep is. open. Yeah, right here. Perfect. So right here, click on the three lines to the left. And and what we want to do is go to events manager. Let's grab your pixel. So when you're driving clicks off of the platform, you guys, and again, it's all the same. Doesn't matter what your what platform, but in this case, obviously with Facebook, you need your Facebook pixel, right? So if you're driving the click off of Facebook, trying to um direct them to either your website or or hopefully a landing page. Right. And if you're new to landing pages, if you're new to all this stuff, I have a 14 day trial to the software that I've been using since 2018. My my landing pages, my email automation, my online calendar, my membership hosting, it's all in that one software. But there's a trial right below. That's what Rocky is using. Rocky is simply his whole objective is to capture a lead. Right. So so here what we need is we need our pixel so we can start tracking those who are who are clicking and landing on these pages. Um, super, super important. Um, try and go to the left. So hit that hit that triangle, that triangle to the left and go to go to data sources or just hover down to the um, hover down to the blue circle to the left. It's that blue clock looking thing and then go to data sources. Yeah, data sources. And then your pixel will be right over here. So um, right here in the middle, scroll down. And, and click on click on the drop down in the top right. So have we not even created a pixel? We did, right? Yeah. Hit the drop down in the top right, the new life credit, and just go to the other to the other account. Yeah, click on the top account. Okay, perfect. So this is we'll tie everything to this account here. But um, yeah, I don't think we might I don't think we put a pixel on anything. So so no matter what software you guys are using, no matter what website hosting you guys are using, it's all pretty much the same, you guys. You're going to come in here to your to your ads manager and to your events manager, and you're going to grab your pixel. So so let's do this. Continue pixel setup. Hit the blue one. So I don't know if you remember, but we did this in the business settings. In fact, let's let's go to the business settings real quick, Rocky, so I could take, take you from the beginning. Hit the three lines in the top left. Go to business settings. Look at the name, New Life Credit Services. This is where it was initially created. Hit business settings. So right here to the to the left, um, on the left hand side we have our pixel, and so depending on what website you guys are using, you guys, some websites require just the pixel ID number, um, and then some websites require the entire code, right? So the one that we're going to be working with re it requires the entire code. Click on data sources to the left, and then come down to pixels. So click on pixels. So this should be your pixel right here. Um, the name of it was the the new life credit. Yeah, see, so the red, it's a red dot because it hasn't been installed. So yeah, we're going from the beginning. So perfect. So if you guys are are here at on, on at this time within the video, this is your business settings. You want to set you want to create a whole new business account under under your your business settings here, um, because that's how you access the pixel. So you'll create the pixel here, and then once you have the pixel, click on the three lines to the left, or actually click on open in events manager to the top right. Open in events manager. And then what it'll take us open in events manager to the left. Click on that one. Just click on the words. I'm trying to look at it, look at it real quick here. So just right here, just click on yeah. this. Yeah. Okay. Open in events manager. So over here, now we'll, it'll bring us back to where we were at. Um, and this is where we'll grab the pixel. Go ahead and click the blue button. So we're going to grab it over here. Um, and once we once we install it on the page, then um, the red dot will turn green and it'll be an active pixel. So click on the blue one, continue pixel setup. Meta pixel, and then con connect. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to install code manually. Click on that one, install code manually. And then we're going to copy code. And then just click the blue, continue, copy code, click it. And then hit the blue one, click it, Rocky. And then click the blue one, 
I have another call in like literally like in 10 minutes. So okay. all that's blue. So we're good. So hit, hit continue. Okay. And then continue. So what we're doing here, you guys, is we're simply getting the pixel connect, continue, and just go through the go through the full, um, the full, yeah, go to pixel overview. Okay, cool. So we have it copied. Now we're gonna go to Kartra. And once we once we install it, then this page will open up and um and that's that's where your pixel will be. So close this and then just go into your into your landing page. We're gonna do both pages, the, the landing page one and the thank you page. So just hit the three dots and go into edit. Close out this, just hit the three dots and go into edit. So most of these websites, you guys, most of these softwares, again, it's all the same. In Kartra, it's just settings to the left. Um, and then you're going to simply um, go to tracking. Yeah, click on settings. And then tracking code. And then scroll down. And you have the Facebook ads tracking code. And the Google, when you start running Google ads, that's a whole other thing, YouTube ads. Then it'll, the, the YouTube ad goes here at the top. Or the YouTube um, pixel goes here at the top but we'll just do the facebook one for now yeah paste it in there and then click apply that's it so now that the pixel is on the page now we're ready we're ready to to, to set up the ad to get the ad in in review um and and to publish the ad and then right after we do this right after we set this next step up which is what i call step two so step one is posting it on the business page first right step two is simply um setting up the ad now in this case we had a, we had to set up the pixel and, and that's what we just did. But now let's go and set up the ad. That's step two. Go to the ads manager. So click on one of your tabs. Um, Is that it? No. To the left, events, events, these tabs that are, yeah, close out this one. Yeah, you, you just keep opening up more tabs. Yeah, tabs. So go to the events one where you see events to the left, the tab that's open. That's your ads manager. So you can go there, events. The real quick. Now that we just added the pixel to the page, you want to come to the page, refresh it. So reload the page. So re re refresh this page, and then you'll notice in the top right, your pixel helper, right? So your Facebook pixel helper. If you guys don't have this plugin um, right here in the top right, go ahead and click on it, Rocky, the, the plugin, your Facebook pixel helper. This is a free plugin, a free a free um, 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 download. Go ahead and click on it, that pixel helper, the blue and the, the green um, little plugin. So you guys can download this, and this will just simply um, allow you to test your um, your pixels. Um, make sure your pixel is working. Do you know Do you know where your pixel helper is at, Rocky? I don't. I'm looking for it. Right in the top right. Yeah, click right there. That's the plugin that you downloaded, right? Yeah. So that just lets you know that that your pixel is working. So do the same thing for your thank you page, um, because if you notice, look at your thank you page right now. Prior to you putting the pixel on it, click on it. Look, the pixel help the pixel helper, it's gray, right? That's when you know there's no pixel on the page. And this could be any website, yeah. right? Facebook will track any website. That pixel helper is gray. Um, but go ahead and refresh it. Go ahead and refresh it. So now that Facebook's going to read it now for the very first time, now the pixel is active. Right. So now even if you go to the events manager, go to that tab that's already open, the events manager. Event manager, okay. Go to your three line, or actually, you know what? Refresh this page. You can refresh this page and now it'll open up. Um, now the pixel will be active. The 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 dot will be green, um, and 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 we'll be good to go, right? So so putting the pixel on the page is very important. And then we got to still create the custom audiences. Actually, yes, yeah, taken it's taken a second. Click on um, click on um, click on the three lines to the top left and go to business settings. Awesome. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the ad. So now let's click on the the green one. Um, and you know what, really quick before we even do that, we got to set up, we got to set up your conversion event. Actually, we got to set up your conversion event really, really quick. And that's around your thank you page. So click on the three lines, um, to the top left and go to, um, events manager. Okay. Yeah, events manager. And then, and then here you're going to go to, um, you're going to hover over the, let's see, let's see where it takes us, but we want to be right where that blue circle is to the, to the left. We want to, yeah, we want to click on that blue circle and we want to go to um, data sources. So data sources. Yeah, click on that one. And then click on the drop down in the top right and go to your, into your other account. Okay. Conversion event would have been under lead. Now go to ads manager. And so now as you go in, so this is what I'm referring to, the second step, the ad set level. Um, now we'll click the green one. 
So we'll come in here and the whole objective is leads, right? Leads, you're driving people to a landing page. And this is one test. You'll test ads to, to, the, land, to the landing page and then you'll also want to test ads to a lead form. Okay, you'll always you'll always want to just split test and and go and go back and forth until you find really a winner, um, because again, it's all about the lead. It's all about the lead. It's all about the lead. After you after you control and own the lead, you can communicate with that lead from this point on, right? And and you can you can direct them to anywhere from this point on. So it's all about capturing it. So sometimes if you have to use a lead form to do that, just to capture the lead, use the lead form. Um, but again, you'll test right. So here, click on yeah, click on the green one. So let's go into it. Click create, and then here you're going to go lead. So the objective um, moving forward will be leads. Okay, cool. Now, now you'll be yeah yeah. Go ahead and hit, click continue. You'll be um, naming right, naming each step as we as we move forward to the setup. So this is step one. This is the campaign level. So right there at the top, new leads campaign. I would delete that and rename it. Start naming your videos, right? What what video is this? What are you talking about in it? What color was your shirt? What was the call to action? Whatever, like what is, an, what, give it a brief description, right? What video is this? Is this um, download video number one or or what? Like, like. At least that's what it is, download. Yeah, PDF video number one. Like just something simple that you can, you can remember and know exactly what, what video that was. Yeah, download PDF, video one, maybe. Yeah, video one. So and then in parentheses, in parentheses, leads. Leads. In parentheses. Yeah, download PDF. Understand credit. And then if you're in any of these categories, right? I work with a lot of real estate agents, so they all have to hit the category um, drop down there and go with housing. So so if you okay. click on the drop down, you'll see four different categories: housing, credit, politics, employment. Um, so if your business falls in line with any of these, then then obviously go with that one. So so in your case, it's credit, obviously, right? It's credit. So just go with that one. We're good there, and then hit next. That's it. That's step one, right? Step one is 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 choosing the objective and choosing the drop down and going with credit. That's it. Now you're on step number two. So here you're going to be driving clicks to a website. So you you're gonna you're gonna click on that on website. So just shade that circle, website, and then scroll down. So yeah, so now just just keep going down. And so here, this is where you would see the conversion event. So when you hit that drop down, now your conversion event's not not active yet. But but if you hit it, hit the drop down, choose an event, and then come down to lead. That's what you're gonna want to optimize is is the lead. Okay, and then um. And then scroll down. So we'll we'll set it up here once you're once you're pixel. In fact, go ahead and click on verify pixel there. It's not gonna mess up anything. Click on verify pixel. So now we're gonna go down to budget. So our pixel is good. We're gonna come down to budget. Um, daily budget again. It th this comes down to it really obviously comes down to one's budget, but it comes down to just knowing your numbers. That's really what it comes down to: knowing revenue, knowing profit, knowing what you could spend. Right. So. I always look at it per deal. Like, what do I make per deal, right? Like, what do I make per deal? I make X amount. Okay, then I should be able to afford X amount in ads, right? So um, like, for example, with real estate, a lot of them make five, six, seven grand, some, you know, 10 grand per deal. And it's like, man, take a percentage of that and run ads, right? So whatever your budget is, man, you want to be in, 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 or whatever a lead is worth to you, right? When you're looking at your numbers, what, what really is a lead worth? to one's business, right? If I make 500 per deal or I make a thousand per deal or I make 300 commission per deal. Okay, cool. So like what, okay. So, and, and that's like low, low, lower case. Let's say for example, I do make 300 per deal. The way I'd be looking at it is I'd be spending at least 300 per month. Correct. That's, that's what I'd be doing, right? If I'm making 500 per deal, I'd probably be spending 500 per month. If I was making a thousand per deal, I'd be spending a thousand per month. And at a thousand per month, that's a good that's a good budget. So if you're making five grand per deal, six grand per deal, eight grand per deal, you know some people in different businesses, it's like shit. Spend a thousand a month. Like what the hell? Like you should be spending a thousand a month. That's why a lot of my real estate agent clients, I'm like, dude, you should be spending a few grand a month. Like you should be dominating your area. You know, so so everyone's every business is a little different in that term. You know, in terms of of revenue or whatnot. But here, I would say in your business, like. Again, what is a lead worth? Um, 
10 bucks a day, 10 bucks a day. If, if a couple of leads came in or a few leads came in, would it be worth it? You know, 15 bucks a day, 20 bucks a day. You know, if you're, if you're making 600 per deal or, if, or if the lifetime value of a customer is 600 or however, whatever the number is, man, you right. know, I'd be looking at spending that much per, per month, minimum, like minimum. I'd be spending that much per month. If I'm making 200 per deal, okay, cool. Then I guess I'm spending 200 a month, which is not a lot, lot, but it's a start. It's a start, right? Like, like, so here you want to go in your case, man, you want to go at least, at least $10 minimum a day. I would, if I were you, um, you could test five bucks a day, but, but I think like when you're targeting, especially when you're targeting a local area, right. A, a, a few miles around a certain zip code, for example, or an address, um, it doesn't take much to take over that area. Like as you scale up, you could be you could be crushing and dominating an area as you scale up at 25 bucks a day, you know, 20 bucks a day, $25 a day, you know, but here you want to start with at least half that, you know what I mean? Yeah. You want to start with, you know, at least, yeah. So what are you comfortable with? 10 bucks a day, plus 10 plus per day. Like well, I would definitely, definitely do 10 bucks, 10 bucks a day and see how it goes for the first month. And then, and here's how you want to kind of just strategically plan it out. Like I've been saying from the beginning is, is, is one video every 15 days, like keep it that simple. Like, and, and it's really two things to test off of either my videos need to get better or my landing page needs to get better or because, because the offer is the offer. The offer is your free download. So just come and that's value, right? You put together three pages of anything. You educate someone on anything, something that they're, they, they're, that people are raising their hand and saying, Hey, I'd love to read something like that. Right. You educate someone on anything via a download, via a PDF. So simple on your end. Right. But, but people, people will download that. So, so that's already a given. Now it just comes down to your videos. It comes down to getting better at your video delivery, getting better at educating people, getting better at the call to action. And that, and that only happens, bro. That only happens with practice. Yes. That's why I'm so freaking proud of you for where you're at and where we've gone right on this journey since the beginning you're learning bro and you're getting better and better and better you weren't even putting out videos prior to us connecting right and now now you're getting the hang of it now you're like dang now you're getting out of your comfort zone you know what i mean um but that's what you're gonna end up testing is videos so so the strategy one video every 15 days that's it keep it that simple and and if this one flops okay whatever then day 16, I'm going to have my next video ready and we're going to, we're going to, we're going to jump off that one. We're, that one's going to be a jump off and we're going to go day 16 to day 30. And there's my two videos per month, right? That's simple, man. It's that simple. And as you, again, move forward, it's getting better at the video delivery and it's getting better at optimizing your landing page. Maybe your landing page sucks. Maybe your landing page, you know, it's not, it's not really capturing that person. The offer, you, we, we need, may need to rewrite the headline, the, 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 um, the subject line or whatever, the yeah. headline, the headline. Right. So, so these are, these are the, those are the two basics, man, of what it comes down to as far as testing, because here I'm taking you through the mechanics and I'm taking you through the details of, of how to set this damn thing up. After you learn this part, which ain't, ain't much to learn, then it just gets better at my, my content, right? It gets better at my, at my con it, it's all about getting better at my, at the content um, and the landing page and the landing page. Okay. So, so here go, what are you going to go? Five bucks a day, 10 bucks a day. Like, what are you going to do right here? 20. Okay. Let's do 10 bucks a day. Yeah. So take away the 20. Okay. Take away the 20, put, put, put 10. Let's try to knock this out real quick. And then, and then the start date, you always want to, it's already late in the afternoon. So I would start at the next day, the following day. I'll always try to run ads. I'll always try to set up the ad in the morning and then, and then schedule it to go live the next day at 6 AM. But it's, if it's already this late into the, into the evening, um, then I'll skip a day and, and, and I'll give Facebook plenty of time to approve it. And then I'll start at the next, the next day. So, so today with today being, um, um, with today being what's today, today is the, today is the, the 20th, right? All right. I, right. It is right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. So then go the 22nd, go the 22nd at 6 AM. Okay, so now locations. Let's edit the United States. Let's take out that, and we're gonna simply. Um, you can either go after your 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 whole entire city, right? Just type it in. So hover over United States and exit out. Okay. Or, or you can just um, or you can go off your address. You can type in an address, and and go off of you know hit fifteen miles or twenty miles or fifty miles up to fifty miles around the address. So it's up to you. Take away United States. Okay. So. And then, and then also the drop down at the top, people living in or recently in. So that's a huge, you know, there's a huge difference between these different four. 
um, people live in this location. Okay, cool. Now scroll down. Or actually, yeah, Eugene. So always make sure the drop down. Always make sure you hit the drop down. So as you type it in, um, go space and then Oregon. As you type it in, you'll see a drop down. So always go with the drop down. So there's the drop down. Click on the drop down. You can go off the address or you can. Is that your address? That's not my address. But that's your street name. Like I said from where it's from where it's located at. It's 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 pretty close to my address. Okay. What you want to do too is you want to stick to the same spot. So 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 stick to the same the same the same, and that's what you'll name at the top. So scroll to the top, Eugene Springfield Highway. I put in here real quick. I mean, it's pretty it's pretty crazy how uh, it's pretty close to where I live at. Awesome. So we're gonna scroll down. Age. Go ahead and change out the. Actually, you know what? You can't change out the age. Hit the age. Click on the age. Um, drop down, but because you're in the special ad category, yeah, you cannot you cannot change the age, and that's fine. Gender don't want to change. Um, detail targeting, um, because you're targeting such a local area, 15 miles around this address. I don't I I don't want to narrow it in any further, right? So adding detail targeting keywords are are not necessary at all. Now, what we do want to do is we do want to edit the placement. So click on manual placement. Advantage placement is when you let Facebook place the ad everywhere. Right. But because you're at a lower budget, somewhat of a lower budget, and we're just starting, we don't want it everywhere. Like we want it to go in on the highest engaged piece of real estate um, within Facebook and Instagram. And that's the newsfeed. Right. That's where everyone's attention is at is in, is in the newsfeed. So you'll uncheck audience network, uncheck messenger. And then all you're going to do is you're going to come down. Yes. Yeah, so uncheck audience network, uncheck messenger, and then scroll down. And then you're going to simply, um, um, uncheck. So hit the drop down for the feeds. Just click on feeds. Yeah, click on it. Or hit the drop down to the left. That little arrow looking thing. Yeah, and then and then all of these. So you're leaving the feed. So leave the Facebook feed. Leave the Instagram feed. Um, leave the marketplace, and then uncheck everything else. Yeah, just keep going down. Keep going down. You're gonna go all the way down. Click on all of them, and then just uncheck everything. At the top, you're just naming what went on within this within this set, right? Within this step. Um, so you're targeting maybe, maybe your daily budget, um, maybe, um, maybe the word, the words edit placement, right? Eugene Springfield or whatever, dash $10 a day dash, um, edit placement, right? So I'm just briefly describing what, what went on. So when I look at it on the dashboard, I, 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 I know exactly what ad that is. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Okay, cool. So that's it. Now we're going to go next. That's it. So that's step two. Now the third and final step, all we're going to do since we posted it on the business page first, um, all we're going to do is come over here now and we're going to click on um, the drop down, create ad. And so <coughs> you'll see your, your Facebook page. Um, do you have an Instagram account? <coughs> yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. So connect and go ahead and click, click on connect account. Okay. Or maybe hit the drop down, select an Instagram account. Hit the drop down. I could have swore you already did this part, but hit the drop down. Select an Instagram account. Where is this at? We're looking at in the middle. Select an Instagram account. Okay, right there. Okay. Okay, so choose your Instagram account. Okay, perfect. So scroll down. Now create ad. All you're gonna do the drop down. Create ad right there. Create ad. Use existing post. Okay, so select post, and then you'll see it right there. So click on that top one, and then click on continue. Okay, cool. So step two is simply setting up the ad, right? And then and then step three is just simply creating the custom audience. So now scroll through, scroll down, scroll down. All we want to do here now is add a button. So click on add a button and then grab the link to your landing page. And that's going to go right there. So click on add button and then now get your link um, for your landing page and paste it in right there. All you're going to do is just paste it in there and then update post. And that's it, man. So scroll down, and you can you can name it here at the top as well, something. But um, but but you don't need to. And then scroll. Or yeah, you totally can give it a name at the top. But scroll down. So now we're good. Call to action required. Um, requires an external website URL. Okay, cool. So so that's all we gotta do is just is just wait for that pixel to be active, and you're good. So hit publish, and that's it, man. That's how you set up a, a video ad to a landing page, um, in 2023 and beyond.